In the event of communications failure, aircraft operating in accordance with ATC clearance, where two-way radio communication is required, are to comply with the requirements of ICAO Annex 10, Telecommunications, Volume 2. This specifies the requirement for air-to-ground communications equipment and the radio frequencies allocated to the aeronautical telecommunications network. If the communication system of an aeroplane, receiver or transmitter, fails when the aeroplane is flying in the traffic pattern of a controlled aerodrome, a visual watch shall be maintained, and instructions will be issued by visual signals. If failure occurs during flight in VMC, regardless of flight rules, the aeroplane is to continue to fly VMC, land at the nearest suitable aerodrome, and report its arrival by the most expeditious means to the appropriate ATCU. If failure occurs in IMC and the airspace is not under radar control but is controlled procedurally, the following are to be complied with. 1. Unless prohibited by a regional air navigation agreement, the aircraft is to maintain its last assigned speed and level, or minimum flight altitude if higher, for a period of 20 minutes following the aircraft's failure to report over a compulsory reporting point and thereafter adjust level and speed in accordance with the filed flight plan. 2. Proceed according to the current flight plan route to the appropriate designated navigation aid serving the destination aerodrome and, when required, hold over this aid until commencement of descent. 3. Commence descent from the nav aid at or as close to the expected approach time EAT last received and acknowledged. If no EAT has been received and acknowledged, descend at or as close as possible to the ETA resulting from the current flight plan. 4. Complete a normal instrument approach procedure as specified for the designated aid. And 5. Land if possible within 30 minutes after the ETA or the last acknowledged EAT, whichever is later. In airspace under radar control, as in the case over Europe, the IMC procedure differs slightly. Here, the flight should remain at its last assignment for only seven minutes, until reverting to flight plan. This is because, with radar monitoring, the 7600 squawk should be noticed quickly. The seven minutes is based upon the latest of the following times. The time the aircraft reached its assigned level, or, if there was no assignment before the radio failed, the time the minimum flight altitude was reached, the time 7600 was set, the time the crew were unable to report position over a compulsory reporting point. The remainder of the procedure is the same as the IMC and non-radar airspace, SOP, discussed previously. Where an aircraft is being subject to unlawful interference, for example a hijack, communication with the appropriate ATC authority is to be attempted. This will enable the authority to give priority to the aircraft and deconflict other air traffic in the event of deviation from any flight plan. Specifically, unless conditions dictate otherwise, the PIC is to attempt to continue to fly the assigned track at the assigned level, at least until able to notify an ATSU or until within radar coverage of a radar unit. If forced to deviate from an assigned track or level, without being able to notify an ATSU, the PIC should, if possible, attempt to broadcast a warning on the VHF emergency frequency, 121.5 MHz, and use other onboard alerting equipment, such as SSR on mode alpha 7500 or data links, proceed in accordance with applicable alerting procedures for in-flight contingencies, established and published in document 7030 Regional Supplements. If no regional procedures have been established, proceed at a level different from IFR levels by 1,000 feet above flight level 290 or 500 feet below flight level 290 
or when reduced vertical separation minima, RVSM, are used.